welcome back to my channel so for today's video we're gonna be doing 50 questions with me but before we get into the video guys you already know what to do make sure to subscribe to your girl's channel and hit that bell button so you can get notified whenever I post and let's get into this video how are you doing I'm doing great I'm always great I gotta thank the man above what did you eat this morning what did I eat this morning Nothing. I didn't eat anything until I think it was like two o'clock. Something like that. Guys, don't do what I do. Cause not healthy. But I don't really eat in the morning, so yeah. What time did you wake up? I woke up at 8 30 this morning. What did you do today? What did I do today? I edit, filmed, filmed more content for my channel, a couple's channels. And that's it. And that's it. Did you shower today? Nope. Don't shower till tonight. <laughs> I don't stink, guys. How often do you work out? Um, I try to work out every day. Yeah, besides weekends. And that's it. So I guess seven days a week. Sometimes. If not, probably four days out of the week. What is your favorite drink? Favorite drink has to be lemonade. I love lemonade. If I'm going out to a restaurant, it's the first thing I choose is lemonade. How many blankets do you use to sleep? One big one, which I should get another one because BJ still all of them. What is your favorite thing that Duke did today? I think just when I pet him, he puts it like, and I stop petting him, he like, kind of grabs my hand with his paw, so he just like, hold on, hold on. So I'm like petting him, if I stop, he just like does this, or does this, so I can keep petting him. I think that's it. What are you going to eat for dinner? Mm -hmm. I don't know, guys. Chicken, I think like the chicken patties, I don't know, I don't really know, I don't really, I don't know. What's your favorite kind of ice cream? Cookies and cream for sure. Or my second favorite would have to be homemade vanilla. What is your ideal date night? Ooh, ideal date night? Uh, kind of have a lot of those. If we're going on a dinner date, I would like to, well, it depends on where we're going. We're going to a casual place, just like regular normal clothes. If we're going to like a fancy place, like, oh yeah, I would love to dress up, take pictures then go out to eat and then do that cute little stuff like record my food and his food and then come back home and do the nasty. <laughs> what do you love about yourself? What I love about myself? Um, I love my smile, my hair, um, and I love how genuine I am. Um, I've always been genuine to people, even genuine to myself. Does that make sense? Um, and I just like how independent I am and I try to get things done. Yeah. <laughs> if you could leave tomorrow and not worry about expenses, where would you take a trip? I think Bora Bora or Turks and Caicos. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. <laughs> what kind of car do you drive? A Toyota. A little white Toyota. Nothing for you. What year was your best year in school? <laughs> none. <laughs> Literally none. What is your favorite thing to do on your downtime? Um, chill with BJ, sleep. <laughs> I sleep a lot, guys. I sleep a lot. And watch movies with him. And just be on my phone, TikTok mostly. And yeah. What is your favorite pair of shoes? They're like the... I want to say they're fake, but they're like the wannabe Adidas, like Yeezy. Where are they Yeezys? I don't even know. They're like the Adidas ones. But they call them grandpa shoes, but I love those shoes because they are so comfy. And those are like my go-to shoes. Like, I just feel like it goes with every everything besides like dresses, of course. But, yeah. What is your favorite color? Um, Black, white, or red. If you could move to another city, where would it be? I want to say... 
Florida, but I feel like it's so expensive down there for no reason. Um, but I'm gonna have to just go with like Florida, like Miami maybe, I don't know. I just like to be around the water. What is your mom's name? Angelia Martinez, that's her name. <laughs> Yeah, don't be Googling her or anything like that. <laughs> what is something you wish you had? Mm, nothing really. I like like everything I have I've always wanted, so I think the man above. So there's nothing really I want besides like materialistic things. So if we're talking about materialistic things, I guess you can say a house, like a house that's mine. Do you have any sex fantasies? <laughs> uh, I think so. I would want to like so sometimes. Sometimes I want to tie BJ up just to tie him up. <laughs> or sometimes I want us to like play roles. <laughs> like I don't know. He comes to like fix something. I just want to play that role. I think that's so funny. Like it's just funny to me. <laughs> or like the stuff that like I don't know. Like Fifty Shades of Grey. I think that's fun, but I think it's also torture, but I just want to see how it feels. <laughs> and the best way you can explain how it is growing up in a Mexican household. Honestly, uh, growing up, my parents were strict, so couldn't really sleep over at friend's house, couldn't really go anywhere without my parents' permission or without my parents being there or knowing their entire family. Um, so, didn't really go anywhere while growing up. Um, couldn't, you know, dye my hair. The normal things that girls do, dye my hair, put makeup on, do my nails um, until I was 15. Um, you couldn't date until you were 15. Um, Eating Mexican food every single day. Uh -huh. Try not to do things that your aunts and uncles will judge you for. Because they will judge you for life. That's how I feel it is living in a Mexican household. And you're going to get hit with anything that your mom finds. Either that's a chancla, una escoba, vaso, whatever. She's going to hit you with it. Yeah. And, and that's it. <laughs> Are you a giver or a receiver? A giver, for sure. Always. <laughs> what is your favorite position? I honestly, I love missionary. Because one, BJ has a fine ass face. So when he's like on top of me, <laughs> when he's on top of me, all I see is his face. And it's just like, so admiring to look at and just, I just be falling in love, falling in love 10 times more or harder because I'm just looking at him and then while we're doing the nasty, it's just 10 times better. <laughs> when do you feel that you are the sexiest? That's a good question. Um, I think when I feel the most sexiest is like when I dress up. Um, like rather that's going on dates or just dressing up, I feel like I'm the baddest on the world and nobody can stop me. But if I'm just in the house looking like a bum, I'm kind of like, eh. But I still look good somewhat. Do you go to sleep with the AC on up high or low? If it's high, that means it's hotter in the house. If it's low, that means it's colder in okay, the house. Okay, so yes, I sleep with it um, low. Plus two fans, because somebody getting hot. <laughs> Too fast. What was the first phone you ever had? I think it was like a blueberry. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. It's like a blueberry or something like that. I think, yeah, something like that. <laughs> Who's your favorite artist? I have a lot of them. I have a lot, a lot. Um, ones that I can name off the top of my head would be Chris Brown, Drake, Rob Wave. And yeah, there's a lot, lot more. Thanks to BJ putting me on to music. <laughs> What is your favorite thing about your relationship? My favorite thing? I have a lot. Like, I can't sum it up into one. But the fact that I can be myself around him and he doesn't judge me for it, as well as we can just chill together 
in that in that call it boring like we can literally chill and that's like our quality time together um i just like how we're both very chill and we we just like the same type of person like i that's one thing i'm so glad that bj is like the male version of me so that's i think that's just a plus and he's my best friend so yeah do you swallow or spit <laughs> Uh, kind of just depends, but if you're trying to see which one, like, do I do more? Swallow, for sure. That's like a, yeah, like I always think spit is like, eh, what's enough? <laughs> what is your favorite type of underwear? Uh, so it's like the nasty time, I like to wear some silky stuff, some lace stuff, but if we just chill in, like the most comfortable underwear would have to be like cotton underwear for sure, just like regular, the bikini underwear from Victoria's Secret, those are like my go-to, very comfortable to just walk around in and yeah. Do you like being sucked on while being intimate? If so, where? Yes, my neck, my chichis, <laughs> and that's about it like kiss me on my feet especially if we're a missionary and my feet are up like not my feet but like my leg area thigh area do you like it rough if uh, so how rough <laughs> uh kind of just depends because like if BJ's doing it sweet, it's like, oh, I love it. But then again, it's like, if he automatically rough, I'll be like, oh my God, what's got into you? So I like it kind of in between rough and soft. Cause I like a gentleman where he's like, are you okay? Are you good? But then sometimes I just be like, you know, pull my hair, choke the shit. <laughs> Next. So where do you see yourself in five years? Traveling, you know, having a house being with BJ and being able to help others with like my success or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> what is something that you would like to tell your supporters slash subscribers? If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here today. So honestly, thank you. Thank you so much. I love each and every one of you guys. And I, I know I always say, you guys DM me a lot, but it's so hard to answer each and every one of you guys. But just know, no DM or notification or comment gets unnoticed from you guys. I see everything. So, again, thank you so, so much. When you shower, what is your routine? If I'm washing my hair that day, I first start off with shampooing my hair. And then I use the shampoo in a little bit. And then I start doing like my face, wash my face with my, like a soap or something like that. Then after that, I rinse off my shampoo, my face, uh, my face wash, and then I put in the conditioner and I kind of tie it up in a bun so the conditioner can just soak up into my hair. Then that's when I start doing my body wash. If I have to shave that day while I'm, you know, body washing and stuff like that, I'll also shave. After that, I rinse out the conditioner. Um, if I want to do a hair treatment, I will. Um, but that's kind of it. Just, you know. Basic, simple stuff, nothing too much. When making a bowl of cereal, do you put your milk in first or your cereal in first? Cereal in first. If you don't put your cereal in first, something is completely wrong with you. Like, yeah, it's just, I don't know why you guys, some of you guys do that. When boiling water, what are your ingredients? Water in the, <laughs> water in the, <laughs> water in the, um, the pot. And you turn the oven on. <laughs> Using one example, what is one of the most memorable times in your life? Why did that one touch my heart? <laughs> um, well, ooh, what am I, I'm about to start crying. I'm about to cry, guys. Um, I think it would have to be with my great grandma. Um, <laughs> damn, babe. <laughs> Um, just like, yeah, being with my grandma, um, when she used to come to the ranch where we used to live, we used to live in the ranch and she used to come every summer and we used to just spend so much time together. But yeah, 
If you had one more day with your grandma, how would it go? <laughs> oh, this boy really wants to make me cry. Oh. <laughs> my makeup's gonna be everywhere. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Um, my lashes too. Baby, I'm literally crying. <laughs> Bye. What? Sorry for crying, guys, but I'm gonna close my eyes for this because I don't want tears to fall out. But, um, one day with my grandma, I think it'll be her at my apartment and we are just like chilling and talking about certain things um, and honestly just enjoying her presence and her laugh, smile. So yeah, <laughs> oh sorry again, <laughs> waterworks. What is your favorite chicken place? Oh, uh, it's between <laughs> Zaxby's and Slim Chicken. But I think I would have to go with Slim Chicken. For sure. <laughs> I'll put you on those. Yeah, you Both of them. <laughs> if you could choose your middle name and have one, what would you choose? <laughs> That's a hard one. I, I don't even know. I don't even know. I can't answer that because I really, really don't know. If you could choose between getting one million dollar payment one time or four thousand dollars a week for the rest of your life, which would you choose? Four thousand a week. Is that more money? <laughs> uh, yeah, four thousand a week. I think that's yeah, that's that's good enough for me, honestly. What am I gonna do with another book? I mean, I can do a lot of things, but four thousand you can also do a lot. Of, like every week you're getting four thousand. I'm gonna choose that one. I don't know if it's just more or less money. It is what it is. Okay, guys, that was the last question, and honestly, BJ gave me some good questions. I think um, I told him not to hold back. I honestly told him to ask me anything he wanted, and he did. I didn't expect to cry because honestly, I didn't know he was gonna ask me those questions. Um, but yeah, your girl cried because she's a little crybaby. And that topic is very, very sensitive to me. So, yeah. So if you stayed this long for the video, make sure to comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to your girl's channel. And hit that bell button. Until next time, bye.